All right. It's 8 p.m. I'm assuming this is working. I'm going to check in the uh, comments. Am I on? Am I on? Can you guys hear me? Oh, the comments are coming in. Here, okay. Give me two seconds. I'm just trying to, for some reason, I can't see how many people are watching. We'll give it a couple minutes uh, for people to catch on that this is happening right now. Oh. Okay, great. I can see I can see you guys now. Come on in. My heart is beating. This is this is fine. This is gonna be good. <laughs> oh my gosh, those comments are flowing. Okay. Oh I'm just gonna stretch for a second. Uh, just so everyone knows, I tested this out on a different channel uh, like yesterday, um, and the quality seemed to be okay, but it seemed like people were watching like a minute after, or not up to a minute, maybe like 20 to 30 seconds after I spoke. So there might be a little bit of lag, but I'm not sure how, if that's going to affect any of this or not. We'll find out. This is my first YouTube Live. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm just going to wait a little bit. It's only 8.01. Let some more people come on in, and then we're going to kick this off. Except I guess we've already kicked it off, haven't we, since I'm here uh, speaking. Okay, let me read some of these comments. Quality looks fine. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, hi from UK, Lincolnshire. Hi, from UK as well, in Banbury. That's the other thing, I'm not in my normal location right now. I'm at um, a friend's house who has better internet than where I would normally be staying, because I'm doing some wedding planning, because um, I'm, I'm an engaged man nowadays. So we've come up to my fiance's house, but her internet's not that great, so I'm somewhere else for this live stream. Okay, how many people now? Around 758, 758, 7757, 784, 784, 789. Okay, when this hits 1,000 people at least, um, we'll jump into it. Just so you guys know, the main point of this is I want to tell you guys uh, more about Cavalier Clay, uh, which, by the way, is Maybe I should have started with that. Cavalier Clay is officially launched. I've also posted in the link of this uh, live stream the link for you guys to check it out if you want to. It should be working. Fingers crossed. I'll check it myself. Yeah, looks good to me. So Cavalier Clay, during this whole live stream, is available. <clears throat> it's online. Whoops. Everything's fine, right? Yeah, okay, Kevlar Clay, it's live, and so it is 8 p.m. I'm excited, hope you guys are excited. We're gonna talk about Kevlar Clay. I'm gonna answer some of your guys' questions. If you wanna know more about it, go over some features, stuff like that. So that's the main point. And then also just say some things, because this is my first YouTube Live. How am I doing so far? Is this okay? <laughs> is this okay for a live video? I am uh, on the inside a little bit nervous, but I'm assuming this is okay. All right, I'm gonna save your questions. Save your questions about Cavalier because I'm gonna answer them in a couple minutes. I'm just gonna let a few more people come on in if they if they feels like it. All right, I'm gonna save your questions. Sorry, that was that was YouTube Joe speaking just then, not me. <sighs> okay, I'll just give it one more minute and then, then we'll kick things off here. So, all right, let me ask you guys a question. Where is everybody from? I'll just wait. I think it's a little laggy. I don't think you guys have, have heard what I said yet. 
Jeez. Okay, there we go. Now you guys are there. Oh my gosh. So many responses. We got England. We got Manchester. That's where I'm living right now. Uh, Canada, Denmark, Texas, Oklahoma. I lived in Oklahoma for two years, ages eight to nine, in fact. Um, and then I moved to Kenya in Africa. Uh, we got India, Belgium, Greece, Bolivia, Texas. I was in Texas two months last summer. Awesome. We got a, an international audience here today. So good to see where everyone's from. Jesus, pouring in. Uh, more India, Norway, Dubai, California, Colorado. One of my favorite places to ski is in Colorado. And that's it. You guys can stop. <laughs> stop telling me where you're from. It's too many. Australia. Nice. I've always wanted to go to Australia. I wanted to go to Sydney specifically for as long as I can remember. Uh, I don't really know why. It's just been one of those childhood things that I've wanted to do. Sweet. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's do this for real. Let's do this for real. Let's go over some, some Cavalier talk. How many of you guys have been waiting for this? I've been waiting for it. I'm excited that it's finally here. Like I said, it is in the description now. <laughs> because it's officially launched. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and talk about this. I'm just waiting for this to catch up because I think I'm a little bit slow. Uh, or your comments are coming in later than when I'm actually speaking. Sweet, okay, <laughs> okay, we're good. All right, so let's just talk about the beginning. Let's talk about where Kepler clay came from, its origins to uh, where it is today. Obviously, so the name Cavalier was chosen by uh, Cameron Cretney because I'm not sure how many people know, but this was originally going to be a product for Cameron Cretney in, in um, you know, by, by Cameron Cretney. We've been helping out since the beginning, but this was originally just going to be uh, for Cameron. And so this has been in the process for like 18 months now. This, this started, well, Cameron started his 18 months ago, roughly around the same time Blue Mom started on a clay uh, also 18 months ago. And the idea at the time was, obviously, I love hair clays. They're like one of my favorite, all-time favorite products, but we haven't had one in the Bloom Online. So obviously we wanted to get a clay in the Bloom Online. So Bloom On started working on one. Cameron was gonna, uh, Cameron was working on one to kick off his line. Um, and all was fine and dandy. And then we decided to swap samples and try each other's out. And our samples were very similar to each other. Um, they were too, like, they were too similar of a product. So instead of releasing two similar products, because that wouldn't have made any sense, we decided to join together. And now that's why we have one product, which is called Cavalier by Bloomon Clay, which is a heavy hold, natural finish product. Um, Cavalier chosen by Cameron, obviously Bloomon, that's the Bloomon brand. So we have that mixed together. And we've got it out now, finally. Um, so that's just a little bit of the background and how that kind of started. But we've been going, yeah, we've gone through a lot of different samples. And basically what this is, or let me start, start by saying one of my favorite products that I personally have enjoyed, as many of you guys know, would be the more tr traditional heavy clays. Um, they tend to work the best for my have kind of. I have kind of thicker hair. Um, and because my hair is thick, I need a little bit like a, a dense product to really control it, especially throughout the day. Otherwise my hair starts to poof up quite a bit. Um, so that's what I was going for. And that's what this is. So this is a traditional style, heavy clay. Uh, and it's mainly meant for people more on the thicker side. So, or, or normal as well. So if you have no, kind of normal hair, thick hair, wavy hair, or hard to control hair, that's the kind of the target for this product and that's who I think it will work the best for. Um, obviously my hair type is included in that and that's why I'm super excited about it. Um, let me just take a second to read, read a few uh, questions. Can it be used for curly hair? I mean, out of any finishing product that uh, I would use, I would say that 
that the, the heavy clay would work quite well. I mean, you know, like I would say there's only so much you can do with curly hair, but as far as finishing products go, I would think that um, the clay would do you, do you some justice, let's just say. Uh, and then is it easy to apply? So I would say it's about, it's on par with other traditional heavy clays that exist on the market. Um, when you scoop it out, because it is a heavy clay, it, it has a, a definitely like a thickness to it. But if you break that down in your hands enough, um, like as long as you warm that product up, then you should be able to get it in your hair without, without any problem. But the breakdown and rubbing it in your hands is definitely important just to make sure you emulsify it 100%. Uh, so then let me just go ahead and touch on some more features. First of all, actually, this is what I've been doing. I've made a circle. Don't know if anyone else does that. I know Mike Smith, who has his own channel, Modern Man TV, he does that. A few other people I've seen uh, do that as well. I'm just trying it out. Uh, someone asked, is it oily whatsoever? So another um, common thing with, with some traditional clays is if you use too much, uh, you might experience a little bit of oiliness. This is a natural finished product. And also, I mean, you can see, like, it's given a pretty matte finish in my hair. But that's because I used the right amount. And um, if you use too much, then you might experience a little bit. But if you use the right amount, which is more than enough to keep your hair up all day. This has been in my hair since the morning. I'm in the UK, so it's 8 p.m. right now. And I put this stuff around 11 a.m. So it's been a number of hours. And my hair is, is obviously has a matte finish a natural finish, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it is, obviously we ship everywhere in the world, except Guatemala, <laughs> a random country, but um, I think we've experienced issues in the past. So we don't ship to, to Guatemala, but you're covered everywhere else. Uh, and then, so how does this differ to like other products in the Bloom Online? Right now we've got original styling Meraki, we've got uh, fifth sample styling mask pomade, and then we've got the Cavalier by Bloom on Clay. So comparing it to, I guess, obviously a pomade is different. A pomade is shine. So comparing like this clay to our Meraki, um, the Meraki works for people with like thinner hair, normal hair, and in some circumstances, people with thick hair, and it's also a good pre-styler. But in general, it's a lighter product, so it feels lighter and uh, in your hands and it also feels lighter in your hair, almost like you don't have a product in it. Um, the clay is gonna be more dense, it's gonna be heavier and provide a stronger hold for the right hair type. So like I said, kind of on the thicker or normal to thickish side and it's gonna have loads of texture. So definitely the most texture that you can get out of the Bloom Online um, with this product. It's got a really high hold, we've called it heavy hold, but that kind of translates into really high hold. Um, and whereas the Meraki is kind of like on the high-ish hold spectrum, but I would say that this has a little bit more hold. Um, but the main feature is my favorite thing about it is definitely the texture that it can give you in your hair. Full show. Jeez, I'm speaking a lot. Um, Let me, let me see. How does it work in damp hair? That's a fair enough question. Um, so if you were to put this product in damp hair and let it dry, I would suggest putting less in damp hair than you would in dry hair because the water from dampness will naturally make it feel um, a little bit more oily than if you apply it to dry hair. But some people, like I've used this in the past in damp hair. It's not what I normally do. I normally do finish this, or I normally do apply this in completely dry hair. But you can apply it in damp hair and let your hair naturally dry. And you should, still should be left with some good control. Probably not as much as if you apply it to dry hair. But again, everyone's hair works kind of different. So, yeah, I don't know. You just kind of mess with it and uh, um, decide what you think. So, yeah, I lost my trail of thought. I was going somewhere else. Oh yeah, talking about a pre-styler. 
can you use this as a pre-styler? I would recommend uh, no. <laughs> um, I would say that, you know, clay, it's, it's a little bit too heavy to be used as a pre-styler in my opinion. I prefer lighter products. So for example, um, original by Blumon would be a better pre-styler than a clay. I would always use a clay as a post-styler and never a pre-styler. Um, now let me just touch on a more, more so on the uh, types of hair that it works. I kind of mentioned it already, but um, uh, people with normal hair, thick hair, hard to control hair, and wavy slash curly hair. And then, uh, and also if you, obviously straight hair, <clears throat> if your hair is thick enough. So it's probably not the best product for people with thinner hair. Um, again, a lighter product like, like original would be better for that. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go through some of your questions and see what y'all are saying. Someone asked, is there a lot of tugging and pulling? Uh, I would say for my hair type, no. Um, my hair type does, does, like I have like strong, I don't know what to call it, like strong hair. So tugging and pulling isn't often a big deal for me, but also because my hair is, is quite thick, I don't experience um, tugging and pulling. I would say as a heavy clay, some people might experience a little bit of tug to a certain degree because that is kind of natural when you're dealing with, with a heavier clay. <clears throat> so obviously good for you to know, but it's not um, definitely nowhere near an exceptional amount of tugging or pulling. Best hairstyles for this clay. I'm uploading a video tomorrow. It's a new haircut. Actually, it's this one, although my hair's grown out for a couple of days now. But uh, I'm uploading a video tomorrow of a haircut, and I style my hair in two different ways using this clay. So you can see tomorrow what I did. My two favorite ways to use this product is obviously this is the classic Bloom On hairstyle, first of all, um, which is kind of just the modern quiff. But the reason why I like the modern quiff so much with this product is, again, because of that texture, because of the individual strands that you can get. Um, to me, there's not a lot of products that can match that texture. The other hairstyles that I would like to do, I mean that I do like to do, is a more messy hairstyle. So if I pull this a little bit back, go over like this. I can't really see because I'm just using the webcam, which isn't the greatest of quality. But the reason why I like messier hairstyles is once again because of that texture uh, aspect. That's not really any messier, is it? But I, I think you kind of get what I'm trying to say. Um, because of uh, the texture, I think messier hairstyles look cool with this product because you get so much of those individual strands. Does it wash out easily? Another excellent question. Um, first of all, I will answer that question, but I always sleep with product in my hair in the, at night. Uh, I always go to bed with product in my hair because unless I've taken a shower, I mean, I do, <laughs> unless I've taken a shower. Um, obviously, like you shower in the morning and then sleep at night. And at night, I, I do wash my, I, I don't wash my hair out. I uh, sleep with product in. And then the next morning, I rinse my hair out. And if it's day two hair, then I uh, dry shampoo it. So that's just what I do. Now to answer your question, how easily does it wash out of your hair? Um, it will rinse out mostly with water, but you'll still definitely feel a bit. Again, we're dealing with a heavy hold uh, traditional clay. So you will feel a little bit of residue. You won't feel that much. And then it comes out completely 100% with, uh, with shampoo, with a round of shampoo. So there is no buildup if you don't want there to be a buildup. You can wash it out with shampoo. Or if you don't mind like me, if I rinse it out and then blow dry my hair and blast it with some dry shampoo, then I am uh, good to go. Someone asked, is this product similar to Kevin Murphy's Rough Rider? Is it stronger or weaker? Thanks for your reply. So this is, again, linking back to the traditional, uh, in, in the traditional sense. A few traditional uh, clays that come to mind are Hansa Fuko Claymation, uh, Baxter of California's Clay Pomade, and what you just said, what did you say? Rough Rider, Rough Rider by Kevin Murphy. So these are, these are clays that I would classify as the traditional 
of kind of stronger hold clays. And that's what we were going for with this as well. Obviously, they're all different in their own ways. Ours is no different. Um, I'm the owner of it. I'm obviously going to say it's better, but I'm not. I, obviously, you can you can watch reviews. There's reviews on YouTube right now using this stuff, and a few people have compared this to like claymation and a few others. So you can see what other people say about it. Um, it does. It ticks off all of the boxes that I need from a from a strong holding clay. It keeps my hair up all day, as you can see. No need to reapply. It gives me the texture that I really like some of the best texture I've ever gotten out of hair products. And um, it keeps my natural finish if I use the right amount. So those are kind of the things that I'm looking for in a clay. Also controlling my thicker, my thicker hair. Because the thing that happens with me is obviously it doesn't, it's not very hard for me to get some volume. You've seen my videos or my YouTube videos where I, I always have volume. And volume is not the, the bit that I struggle with. The bit that I struggle with if anything, is, is poofiness. So sometimes if I, I don't use a product that works with my hair, the volume is there, but it kind of explodes into a big poofy mess. Um, and what I really like is that this clay keeps that volume, but it keeps the volume under control as well. So you can definitely gain volume with this, but for me, that volume is maintained really well. Whereas sometimes with other hair products throughout the day, my hair will kind of start to swell a little bit because that's just how how my hair is sometimes so this keeps the volume but it keeps it under check is it a heat protection the uh, protectant no like i said um it's not a pre-styling product i wouldn't use it as a pre-styling product uh, and therefore there is no need to build in like heat protecting elements uh so yeah when will the model be announced I'm not sure what you're referring to. If you're referring to the clay, it's already live. It's in the link of this video right now. Um, you guys can check out the landing page for some more information if you're interested. It's all right there. On a scale of one to 10, how much hold does this product give? That's a little bit subjective, but I would say a good between eight to 10. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I think I got the, the guy who asked about the model. Uh, I got that wrong. You're talking about the Bloom on model thing. Um, I'm just going to stick to Cavalier for now, but any kind of announcements like that will, will always be in the Bloom on community. So as long as you're keeping track with that, then you can, you can find out updates that have to do with that. The price for this product is $19.50 for one, or you can get uh, two for a limited time for seven days for 15% off, which uh, I need to open, open that up. Give me a second. So like I said, if you get one, it is $19.50. And if you get two, that is $33 instead of $39 for the next seven days. <clears throat> so you've got a bit of a bundle deal on that. And then the one other feature, by the way, I, oh yeah, I did show it, I've got it right here. But the one other feature that uh, I haven't talked about yet is the fact that it has a lot of um, uh, hair supplements as well. So a lot of the ingredients, like if, if, if people are, are scared about this product, it's because they're scared of the long ingredients list. Let me show that. So that's the ingredients, but what people don't realize is that so many of these ingredients are actually either um, amino acids, uh, essential oils, or other hair supplements, bits and, and pieces like that. So it's actually fairly good for your hair. So some of the supplements, let me read, I'll read out the hair oils because those are the ones that are easy to pronounce. Include uh, jojoba oil, um, sunflower seed oil, castor seed oil, uh, there's kaolin, um, rose hip oil see so these so the point is there's a lot of different oils in here that are actually uh hair beneficial be, be, beneficiary is that, a, is that a word i think so <clears throat> let me take a look how would you compare this to something like arcadian clay pomade um 
So Arcadian Clay Pomade, if you guys haven't seen, I've done a review on Arcadian Clay Pomade. Really like it. It's a great clay, but it is very different to this clay. Um, so this, of course, like I said like a million times, is a heavy hold natural, uh, heavy hold traditional clay. So it it's, has a you know pretty dense heavy hold. Something like Arcadian or some of the newer clays that are coming out are, are kind of on the more lighter side. So um, this is definitely, it's thicker to scoop out and uh, you warm it up in your hands and then you apply it where something like Arcadian is lighter but also has less of a effect on people with thicker hair, I would say. It's kind of the best way to, to compare that. Would it work with another product than original? I think would, would, I think you mean would it work with uh, other products aside from original? Of course, uh, you can. I mean, you can use this without a pre styler. It's just that every, pretty much every product I ever use, I use original by Blue Mom as the pre styler, and then another product to finish it off. But that doesn't mean you you need that. Obviously, you can use no pre styler or something else if you feel like it. How long will it last for? Well, like I said, it's pretty much all day. It would last for more than a day if you didn't ever sleep, but since the bed messes your hair up, uh, you probably need to <laughs> redo your style in the morning. But um, it lasts all day. I've never, especially when it comes to hair clays, especially this clay that we've got coming out, it's one of the few products that I can apply in the morning and not have to worry about um, uh, having to use more later on or use any other product because often like i said if my hair if, if there's going to be a problem with my hair later on in the day it's the poofing factor so sometimes i need more of something to control that poof that's not the case with this clay uh there's never a need that i've experienced to um to need to reapply People, a lot of people are asking about if this is going to be in stores. This is something that Bloomon is constantly working on. Uh, right now, it's being sold online. Um, obviously, at some point, we would like to be in stores. Don't know when that is exactly, but that's the thing. Like, we're just in the process of growing. Hopefully, that growth will turn into selling in stores eventually. Um, so now, okay, let me just, I'll just touch quickly on the scent. The scent is... It's a little bit like a, a coconut vanilla mixed together. Um, it's, a, it's definitely on the more unique side of, of scents. And uh, so it's a little bit on the sweeter side, but it's not, it's not like overpowering. Uh, that said, we're, you know, the, whole, the thing about Blue Mind is that we're always taking feedback seriously. We're always interested in what you guys like and what you guys, you know, the criticism that you guys have. So interested to see what you guys think about all of the features and whatnot. And, uh, and uh, yeah, that's that's kind of what we want to do as a company as well is listen to others and implement what people have to say. <clears throat> How long does shipping take if you're in the U.S.? I think it's between five to seven days, and if you're international, it's estimated at around two weeks. Uh, I think is a maximum, so maximum two weeks, potentially less than that. <clears throat> Don't take my word 100%, but it's around five to seven for the US and an estimated two weeks for international. I'm just gonna grab some water. <sighs> Someone said they're gonna love that smell. That's good. <clears throat> I'm not sure how many new people have joined and how many old people have left. So I'm just going to go over a few of these features real quick again, just in case you're new and you haven't seen any of this yet. So this is the, <laughs> if you've been here the whole time, you're going to find this a little bit repetitive. But this is the Cavalier by Bloomon. This is the new product that has been launched. The link is in the description if you do want to check it out because it is officially live. And this is the first uh, traditional high hold or heavy hold clay in the Bloomon line that is in collaboration with Cameron Cretney. By the way, Cameron Cretney is going live at 11 p.m. my time. I'm in the UK. At 3 p.m. Vancouver time. You guys can figure that out. So he'll also answer some questions. But this is a collab with, with Cameron as well. Um, <clears throat> it is a high-holding, 
natural finished clay that'll give you a lot of texture in your hair. You don't need a lot of it to get your hairstyle uh, on point, as, I, as you say. Um, literally like a finger scoop or tip of the finger, like that. I would show you, but I don't have any, any tissue near me to wipe it off my finger. Let's see, a few more questions. I think I've covered most of the features. I will see if, what you guys are saying, if there's any new questions here. <clears throat> what is better, clay or pomade for my hair length? Well, I would say I can use both. <laughs> if I want a shiny finish, I would use a pomade. And if I want what I'm doing right now, I would use a hair clay. Uh, more specifically, Cavalier by Blumon, since that's what we're that's that's what we're using today. My hair length right now is I just cut it. So before my cut, it was like down to here, and now it's about five inches. Just the tip of my nose. How much is it? Again, it's $19.50 if you buy one, or it's $33, so you're saving 15% if you buy two. The bundle deal, it shows you guys, like anything price-wise or anything like that is in the link in the description, because uh, that's where we've got it saved for you guys to check out. So someone asked again, what about fine hair? Uh, this product, it's not recommended for people with, with finer hair because it, is, it has a, a density that really helps people with normal to, to thicker hair. Some of you guys are saying that you've just bought it. That's awesome. I hope that you guys enjoy it uh, when you receive it. By the way, this is not a pre-order. So if you, if, you, if you choose to buy it, you're not going to be waiting a long time. It's going to be shipped because uh, we're ready to, to get it shipping. Shipped. Shipping? We're ready to have it shipped as soon as, as, soon as you order. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, someone keeps asking what the shine factor is. I've covered this a couple times, but um, the shine factor is it's a natural finish. So if you use the right amount, you shouldn't have any, you shouldn't have any shine, or you should have like a very minimal amount of shine. Like you can see what we're dealing with here. <clears throat> Um, if you use too much of it, you might get a little bit of shine. So if you do get shine, you've probably used more than is necessary. Does this product help uh, condition your hair? Like I said, it does have um, uh, hair supplements that are beneficial for your hair. We're not calling it a styling mask. We're not calling it like uh, the pomade, which is a styling mask meant to be a leave-in conditioner. We're not calling it that exactly. Um, but what it does do, it does have uh, hair beneficial supplements and, and amino acids and oils and stuff like that that does help out. So you do have some, some healthy properties in there for sure. Someone or a few people keep asking how this compares to claymation. And like I said a while ago, I'm kind of categorizing claymation in the in the uh, traditional heavy clay category. So, so clays like claymation, um, Kevin Murphy's Rough Rider, Baxter California clay pomade. These are all kind of tra traditional clays, and and this is Blumon's traditional clays uh, clay. Obviously different. They're all different, but this is our traditional uh, clay. <clears throat> starting, to, my voice is starting to crack a little. You are getting bold. No, I'm not. Does it work with Asian hair? Uh, let me ask Ben. Ben, has people in the office tried this product, specifically a few Asians? Ben says, yes, people have, uh, Asians have tried it and it works awesome on Asian hair. So there you go. <clears throat> 
I specific, specifically asked Ben because he um, is in Vancouver and a few of our employees have Asian hair. So they've done some testing. Uh, ben says, Colin, John, and Trevor all like it. They are all Asian and they all dig it. So, so it does work for, for Asian hair as well. Probably, I would say out of all of the products in our Bloom Online so far, or the three that we have, uh, this clay is the best for Asian hair. <clears throat> Where can this isn't currently available on Amazon? Um, it's shipped directly from the Bloom on website. One second, <clears throat> which is linked in the description. Does it dry up after time? It never dries up. Like it stays, um, <clears throat> it stays pliable the, the entire day. So it stays movable. Like I said, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's been in my hair for about nine and a half hours. I still got all that hold, all that volume, all that texture, all of that matteness or natural finishness that I had from the beginning of the day. So it doesn't harden up, stays pliable, stays strong holding, gets the job done, son. And uh, Ben just said that it'll be available on Amazon next month. So right now it's available through the website. You can pick it up on Amazon next month. Is it necessary to put on spray after using it? I'm assuming you mean hairspray. For my hair type, I would say no, because uh, I, I just don't. <laughs> I don't really use hairspray as a finishing product. I imagine that with this clay, you wouldn't really need hairspray. Of course, there's some hair types or some people who just love hairspray and everything. So if you're that kind of person, then by all means, go for it. But um, I think that the clay should do a good enough job on its own without. Wavy hair, it's good for wavy hair. Good to go. <clears throat> um, but going back to, did someone ask about? All right, let me see. Does it pair well with original smooth? Yes, 100%. It works really well with, uh, with original as a, um, pre-styler like that's it's practically my favorite combination right now I mean I've always loved original as a pre-styler and then when you mix that with um, <clears throat> sorry I have been speaking a lot when you mix original with uh, the clay as a finisher you're you're you got a deadly combination right there to everyone who keeps asking if <laughs> not everyone a few people who keep asking if I'm gay Nope, I'm not. I, I have a, a female fiance. <laughs> How much would you scoop? Really not that much. Uh, I'd say if you, the more th thick your hair is, the, the slightly more you'll need to use, if that makes sense. But even then, you don't need a lot. <clears throat> I'm, I'm trying to find some new questions. A lot of people are asking uh, similar similar questions that I've, all, that I've already answered. Will you make products specifically for fine hair? We're we're on the we're working on that. Uh, there's no time timeline yet, but we are um, wanting to or in the process of developing products for people with thinner hair because this doesn't really uh, cover cover you guys out there with thinner hair. Better with, that's a good question, better with short or long hair? So I like it for both. If I, because sometimes, or the shortest that I go is about, uh, I'd say maybe, yeah, around here. 
And when I do that, that's when I kind of have my forward quiff, because right now, obviously, my hair is going backwards. Um, but if I was doing my forward quiff with my shorter hair, I would, I would use this 100%, because I still get that texture uh, that I really like. And then if, you, if you're dealing with longer hair that's being pushed back, like I am right now, definitely still the same. Uh, definitely still use the same clay, because like you can see, I'm still getting that texture. I guess the only time, or the only hairstyle that I can really think of that I wouldn't use this for is if I had like, like super long hair, where it wouldn't make sense to use most finishing products. That's, I mean, you can still try it out if you want, but. Where did I get this shirt? I actually don't remember. Topman, I got it from Topman, that's where. You ship to Singapore. Yes, we do. We ship internationally, except for Guatemala, I think. Is that right? Yeah. Someone, someone asked if I've ever used the Label M mud clay. I've used one of their clays. I think they only have one clay. If so, yes, and I wasn't a big fan. My styling routine, my hair styling routine, it really, it hasn't changed um, for this. The only thing that's changed, well, it hasn't really changed because I've been using this for a while, but the newest edition has obviously been applying this stuff because when I do it, I just start from damp hair. As always, my back is sore. <laughs> start with damp hair, take a finger scoop of original, run that through, emulsify it, blow dry into position, finish off with a scoop of Cavalier clay, and I'm good to go. That's what I've been doing. Someone, Clark, said that you just ordered yours. That is awesome. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoy. Uh, someone asked, Someone asked, um, uh, it, did I film my latest haircut? Yeah, and that's going live tomorrow. So everyone watching right now, tune back in tomorrow because I've got my newest haircut, which is this. Although this is even, even this is about four or five days grown out. So like I went pretty short, especially down here. Um, I used the clay for, to make two styles in that video tomorrow. So. Definitely check that out if you want to see it in action. Do I go to the gym? What do you think? I've actually started going to the gym a little bit more often. I, I, I've never been a huge gym fan, uh, but I have been trying to go a little bit more often because I am quite a skinny human being. Does the clay work well without pre-styling or blow drying? That honestly comes down to a couple of things like your hair length, uh, your hair type. Like I can make it work. Basically, no uh, blow drying always helps me. <clears throat> I always blow dry my hair if I want a good hairstyle for that day because a blow dryer will always help me. If you don't usually use a blow dryer to get your style, then by all means, you can definitely use this clay without a blow dryer. Personally, if I'm styling my hair, I, I have a blow dryer involved. <sighs> Them thinks I'm cool. Thanks. I think you're cool. <laughs> what age did I start YouTube? Uh, three years ago? How old am I? 20, I'm 22. I started when I was 19. Thought, thoughts on Baxter clay pomade? I think it's a good um, traditional clay as well. 
Joe is sponsored by Google. Nope, YouTube, I, I have to use uh, Google Hangouts because that's the easiest way to go live on YouTube. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. What can I do to avoid losing hair product during the day? Does running your fingers through cause a frizz effect? So like I said, out of most of the products that I've used, this is one of the few where I feel like there's no need to do anything throughout the day. People always ask me, like, what do you do when you need, when, you, when your hairstyle starts falling apart later in the day? Usually, I just add a bit more product. It's not that difficult. Um, that said, I haven't had to do that with this. So to your question, how do you avoid losing hair products? I think you mean, like, you're losing a hold or something like that. Um, uh, I don't think that you're going to have to worry about that. And then does running through running your fingers create a frizz effect? I think that's another thing that's worth talking about. Because of the density of the clay, if you usually have more frizzy hair, those little strands that stick up should be weighed down with the clay more so than a lot of other products out there. Uh, from my experience, frizziness is tamed to a certain extent using this clay. It depends how much frizz you have, to be honest. But um, it is a, that's another thing that it, it can it can work well at. <clears throat> Do we ship Bloomon products to the U.S.? Of course, that's where that's where they're made. <laughs> what kind of car do I have? No car currently. That will probably change in a couple months. How much is shipping to California? Five dollars. Is it five dollars or five dollars and fifty cents? It's one of those two. Does does Cavalier clay have that fibrous effect like original? It does not. There's a big difference for any of you guys out there who are questioning the difference between. Original by Bloomon and the, the clay by Bloomon, there's a, a massive difference. So the clay is a much, uh, it's more thick, it's a stronger, heavier hold. Original is on the lighter side. Uh, it scoops out kind of creamy-like, um, and it'll feel like there's nothing in your hair as time goes on. So there is a big difference. The clay has killer texture as I've said multiple times, depending on how long you've been here. So yeah, there's a big difference between uh, original and Cavalier. Was everything resolved? Wait, where was that question? Was everything resolved between you and, and Hans de Fuko? when they said our products were white labeled. I mean, by result, they basically just like stopped saying stuff. <laughs> I, I've never spoken, I haven't spoken to them and they haven't, they haven't said anything to us. But um, yeah, no, there's been, there's been no problems. And obviously our products are uh, not white labeled since they take so long to make. And by long, I mean like the, te the, the uh, testing and going over the different samples and what we like here, what we don't like, what we want to change, all of that kind of stuff is uh, obviously the time that it takes or why it takes so long to get this stuff out. What is your definition of coarse hair? Uh, Carlos Roberto, look him up on YouTube. Um, he has coarse, wavy, almost to the point of being a little bit curly hair. Uh, that's what I would call coarse. Mine is thick, but it lays kind of flattish or with a small amount of wave if it's completely dry. So even though it's thick, I don't know, maybe thick and coarse means kind of the same thing. But to me, I have thick hair, not necessarily coarse, whereas someone like Carlos Roberto has thick and coarse hair. There you go. Hey, someone's been here since the beginning. Julio Hernandez. Glad to, glad to know about it. 
Can you make cash on delivery? If you want to walk to the Vancouver office, I'm sure we can uh, arrange that. Do we have limited stock? <clears throat> hey Ben, can you fill me in on that one? I think we have, uh, let me ask. I think we have around 2,000 units, but let me, let me confirm. I'm hoping that Ben's gonna see my message or somebody. I think we have a number of Blue Mon staff members watching this right now. Let me just say, until he replies, I think we've got we've got a limited stock for now. We're not sure we're not sure how much uh, or how long it'll last, and also, of course, the bundled deal is is limited as well. So um, it is limited for now, especially with the with the bundled deal. Okay, so so someone someone on the team messaged saying that it is currently limited. Okay, let me see. Okay, so yeah, currently limited. Of course, we we will re restock eventually, but this is the first run. I'm not sure exactly when restock will happen. I'm just checking, I'm just looking through some new, someone, Chasm asked how much it costs, it's literally in the description, click click on that link. It's $19.50 for one, $33 for two. So you get 15, 50, save, uh, well, save 15%. How many ounces? It's 2.5 ounces. It's the same jar as our original. So you're getting 2.5 ounces, which by the way, just between you and I, is a little bit more than a lot of other companies out there with uh, traditional heavy clays. So uh, keep that in mind. You're gonna <laughs> get a little bit more than uh, some other people might offer. Someone just said that their debit card is getting declined every time they try to order only Bloom on products. Alex, uh, you can email, email us um, at info at bloomon.com and we'll try to source you out or call your bank and be like, hey, what's going on? But that sounds weird. But yeah, info, info at bloomon.com is our customer service email. Uh, this brings up another good point, actually. Um, <clears throat> someone just asked, will the clay come out if you use, like, Shavu for shampoo? I've never used Shavu, but what I've heard is it's, it's kind of like a lighter uh, shampoo that has kind of some oil, like oils to benefit and whatnot. Um, but my recommendation would be for this clay using... Um, like a normal shampoo, you'll be fine to take it all out with. I'm not sure with like Shavu or some other shampoos that um, are kind of like half shampoo, half conditioner. I don't know how well that would work. I haven't tried it. I've tried just normal, regular shampoos, and with just one wash, it'll come out 100%. And with water, it'll come out, I'd say, around 80 85%. And then you do feel a little bit of residue. That residue is not a problem for me because if I want to restyle my hair, just get it damp blow dry it, put some dry shampoo, and I'm ready to go. And then I apply some more afterwards. Can you get a free sample pack? <gasps> no, not currently. Not currently available. What is the shelf life of the clay? Uh, should be two years. <clears throat> if you leave the lid on. All right, don't leave the lid off and then complain that something's happened if you've left it off for like hours on end. 
leave leave the lid on like it should be. You should uh, should should last you as long as you ever need it. Do I put hair products in my hair every single day? Um, most days, yeah. I'd say definitely five five out of seven days. I have product in my hair, and I sleep with product in my hair as well, and it doesn't bother me. Take a look. Is Cavalier Clay a good pre styler? No, well, I wouldn't recommend it as a pre styler. I mean, I, I believe that the best way to get the best from your hair product is to kind of try everything. So, by all means, if you want to try it as a pre styler, that, uh, that's up to you. I don't think I wouldn't use it as a pre styler because it's kind of heavy. Uh, some people might, but probably most people won't. Again, the pre style pre that I would recommend would be original. Um, and I'm going to wrap this up kind of soonish. I've been on here for nearly an hour, which is pretty good. And that's why my voice is getting scratchy. <clears throat> so I'll probably take this to, to around 9 o'clock. Uh, but I really appreciate you guys tuning in for this whole time. This is the first live stream that I've done on YouTube. I did one on Instagram the other day. That was like, well, kind of my first live stream ever. Other than one on Periscope where like 50 people watch. But, uh, whew, this has been, been an intense information packed hour. I hope that I've given you guys all of the answers that you are needing. If you've either joined late or you feel like there's some information that I haven't touched on, definitely check out that link in the description because uh, we've got a whole page dedicated to more features more uh, instruct like how to use it and what it's for along with some videos of me actually speaking about it as well so that's in the link in the description of course you can also order from there I'll say it one more time but it, we are running a limited uh, bundle deal so you can get two for thirty three dollars and that's saving fifteen percent or you can get one for nineteen dollars and fifty cents so that's really that's my time today. I've been on here for a while. Uh, really appreciate you guys tuning in. I've, I've enjoyed this. Like 98% of you have, have been really nice, so that's always a good feeling. <laughs> At least I haven't gotten like loads of like hate or anything. Uh, how you end a good day right there. Let me just see what you guys are saying. Give me one second. Yeah. All right. Well, will I ever do another live stream? Chances are yes. Um, I'm not sure exactly when. I've enjoyed this. I, I was nervous when I started, but it's been it's been fine. <laughs> uh, you guys have been very nice. You've asked some great questions that I didn't think about. So, thank you guys. I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see y'all next time. It's kind of awkward because now I actually have to stop it. <laughs> All right. Good night from my side. Good afternoon, potentially your side. Good whatever. I'm leaving. Bye-bye.